Hey there, we've got a lot to cover and a little bit of time to do it. So this is C++ Video Tutorials by Midnight, tutorial number two, if, if else, and else statements and variables, just like I promised in the last video. <clears throat> so let's see here. Hey, you like my uh, latest model work? Pretty nice, huh? That was something I cooked up in the midst of making stuff. So, I have a project set up here. You can set one up the same same way we did in the last video, just a little bit different code. So, what we're talking about is variables, booleans, integers. What is all this crazy talk? Well, a boolean is like a true-false question, right? It's just a binary digit that says 0 or 1. Well, it's not actually binary. It's just an integer, but that doesn't matter. All you need to know is, is that a boolean either equals 0 or it equals 1. And you can use true or false, which are defined in Windows code, at least anyway, and most other codes. Um, so, well, that's part of the standard library. Anyway, you know what count is and you know what the left shift is in the end line there's a couple new things I want to show you one thing here is we don't need end line see this right here it's a um, backslash n that is an end line command in C++ and you can completely eliminate this other end line pretty fancy huh and you can also do a slash R and do a return. I know this might be confusing the heck out of you, but you'll see in the end it works out quite nicely. And you can get rid of this extra code, extra operations. So what are we left with here? What do we got? We got a Boolean, which is a true or false, zero or one. Uh, we print out to the console a question, is the world flat? Sin is new to you. Sin is the opposite of count. It takes in key input into the console, and it, it's going to set the value to this bool that we have. Now we have a if statement. The if statement reads out like a question. Like if the world is flat, meaning if it equals zero, and it's false actually wait let me think about that for a second no if, if it's zero it's true and by just having it like this it that's what it's asking is if it's true you can also do equals equals true or false or zero or one now you might be saying why is it equals equals well equals is an assigner if I say x equals 1, then it does, right? If I say x equals equals 1, it's a comparison. But we don't need that because the basic function of an if statement gives us that power. And we can also put in a exclamation point to do not. So if not, if this is false, and you can do functions and everything in there. So anyway, it's going to ask, is the world flat, depending on what you typed in. And then it's got a couple more uh, text outputs. And then the else, you see the else here? That is what happens if the if statement fails. It will run this instead. So uh, one of the things that you can run into, one of the problems with if statements is you have something like, Let's say you wanted if uh, x equals equals 1, if x equals equals 2. Like you had choices, right? Like on a, a menu system or key input, whatever. What we're going to be talking about in the next tutorial is switch, switch case loop, uh, which eliminates this problem. And we'll probably be talking about for loops as well. We're going to talk about all the loops and all the variables and all the functions. Not the functions, the um, keywords and the um, 
the the built-in um, statements. Uh, I know this is really brief. You ought to you ought to be reading websites on how to do these for C++ tutorials and you can read along with me and watch the videos and then you can learn. I'm not here to spend, you know, I have 10 minutes per video. I'm not here to spend it all explaining every little facet and detail, which I pretty much have anyway. Um, you can make this yourself uh, and test it out. And we're going to go ahead and run it after we build it, of course. And what we're left with is, is the world flat? Well, I can say, yes, it is. No, I'm sorry, that'd be no in this example. Or I can say, yes, yes, it is flat. Oh, be careful not to fall off. And there you go. And it was asking me for, you want to see that one more time? was asking me for input right now. See how it's got the cursor there and it's waiting. I can put anything in here. And if I do this, what's going to come up is it's going to be true because it has a value. It's no longer zero. And things like characters, which is what we didn't talk about for like text, Let's say character X. Uh, we can do some text. And uh, it's interchangeable. If this has a value, then it's not equal to zero. It, we don't know what number it is. It's actually whatever number of characters is required here. But we're not going to break your little brain. And... Uh, your poor little, well, that sounded rude, but that's not the way I meant. But anyway, rate and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial.